And right now, Congressman Jared Moskowitz opening up about a threat against his life. The man accused of targeting him appearing in federal court for the first time. Local 10's Glenn Milberg in the newsroom with what he's saying about the threats to others in the Jewish community. Glenna, this is a very disturbing story. It really is, Louis. And now we know even more that the man accused of targeting him had also named local Jewish institutions as targets. The congressman is talking about it all for the first time, making it clear he says the need to protect and secure members of Congress at home. It's scary, especially when your 11 year old comes home because his friends say to him, hey, someone, I heard someone tried to hurt your dad. And then South Florida saying, Congressman Jared Moskowitz reveals there were other Jewish targets, though he the only person, in the manifesto found among the weapons and ammo in the Margate home of felon John Lipinski two weeks ago. Lipinski now in federal custody. When we are in D.C., Capitol Police does a great job. But when we're in our districts, where our families are also are, uh, you know, we are soft targets. This is something that's well known. Uh, amongst Democrats and Republicans. It's division, it's hatred. Targets increasingly for political reasons and more relevant for Congressman Moskowitz here, targets of rising anti-Semitism. One thing that very fringe left people and very fringe right people agree on is their hatred of Jews. We seem to be the one thing they have in common. The congressman was the one to make public the threat on his life in this tweet, revealing what police had shared with him, the weapons, body armor, and the anti-Semitic manifesto. The only reason I, I brought this up publicly is because, you know, I, wanna, I want the speaker to start addressing member safety. There is so much more, and you can see our full convo with the candidate Sunday on This Week in South Florida. Janice?